Amanda, if this guy from the train station comes again, don't give him firewood. We have very little left for ourselves. Well, she didn't give it to him. <laughs> it's just sitting right there. Poor guy, he probably went super far and then died. Every single train station owner has died on us, man. And that's such a shame. I want to take them with me. I want them to tell me stuff. Especially since, you know, I'm a train operator. We're technically in the same job market. Alright, so we know that I can punch these guys and then just walk away and have them blow up. A lot... A lot more efficient than just using my ammo on them. What? How to make a tie-in pipe? Yeah, that looks a little... Not really complicated. It makes sense. Pipe connected to another pipe. I just don't know what it's for exactly. Also, oh no. Doghouse. Sorry! I could've just melee him in the face, I just wasn't prepared. I hope there aren't any zombie dog things. This idiot thinks he can steal my heat! Good luck! Oh. Oh, ho 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 ho. Oh, fuck. That's a new one. That's a new one, straight up. Oh, thank god. Alright, I'm sure that guy can absolutely devastate your shit. <laughs> How to protect your pipes. Everyone learns about pipes around these parts, don't you know? So we got a big new enemy that looks like it could just hurt the shit out of me. But he goes down in a single shotgun melee. So, he's not as scary as he could have been. I'm not gonna sit here and find out how much damage they do. I'm also not gonna sit there and try and find out if they do anything super special, like say, leap at me if I give them enough time. Went to fight. We'll be back late. I have the key. Buy some beer for the evening. Ah, oh, damn. Alright. Yeah, we gotta find this guy's body or whatever. In order to access that area. Okay, we have a cemetery, or not really a cemetery, just a grave by a tree, and then the rest of the town. I wish headshotting the normal zombies killed them in one hit, too. Instead, it just kind of... Uh, it stuns them slightly. But not really a stun, just kind of makes them flinch. Like, ugh! I've been shot! No! I'm checking this place out for... ...any kind of zombie I can. I'm taking him out first. Okay. So far, so good. Only two zombies. And <laughs> there's one just chilling out in the snow. Well, at least we know they don't get frozen. They don't, oh, have like a frozen metabolism. Howdy! Stay still! Do you promise? Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, you can ride in my train, dude. I'm not gonna shoot you. Okay. It must be interesting playing this game as somebody who has, like, absolutely no empathy. Like, just you just run around and you go, I'm gonna fucking shoot the shit out of you! And then the guy goes, Oh, you promise? Okay. Alright. I covered the camera. Why do you need a camera in your bedroom? Who is the owner of this place? Some pervert? I don't know, but the rent is low. <laughs> how long how long is it gonna stay low when the camera is covered up if the camera was integral to keeping the price low in the first place all right seems like there's something in Midgar if not I'll check in on the old man of Bristol no news so far uh-oh yep this is where I just back the fuck off they speed up so much when they set fire holy shit there are a lot of people who are going to talk to that old man in Ristol. We were in Ristol. And we slightly talked to him, but then he just decided to stop talking, and that's frustrating. This is a really big place. Oh! Oh. Shit. Yeah, you know what? It looks like every single room has a camera. If these are the cameras right here. Oh. If the owner of this place is still alive. He watched people die. 
The answer to my research was so simple that I still can't believe I found it. They are crossing the strings. Genius. How else could they traverse such a distance and come here? Communal communication issues? Uh, additional evidence. This proves one more thing. It's impossible, being in one location of the universe, to cross the strings in two different spots. Therefore, they will appear the same place as before, the canyon area in the west. Okay. We... have some interesting information here. And then we can see that this guy was leaking out the black gunk, so maybe he was infected as well. Whoop, whoop, almost dropped my fucking phone. Alright, maybe he got smarter from the gunk instead of being transformed. Not entirely sure. Alright, so fucking, this is more shit about saying they're the aliens. And apparently they have a way to travel vast distances. Which, well, that's obvious. Alright, the camera on the first floor stopped working. Whatever, she wasn't that hot anyway. How much have you filmed? About 300 hours, but still need to edit the best parts. Not bad, I'll come by to pick it up tomorrow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the camera on the first floor stopped working. Eh, it doesn't matter, she wasn't hot. The fuck was wrong with y'all guys? Oh, here's a monitoring room too. I guess they were spying on people and selling off footage of them or something. I don't know. Guess we'll never fully find out, but I'm assuming that he's one of the jackasses who own this place, so, huh, he's dead. Boop. Nice try, buddy. You got a little close. But I'm not about to waste my ammo on a normal guy like that. Ooh, more pistol ammo. With that said, every time I finally start to use my pistol ammo or whatever, shit goes down. Alright. Like, I just lose all of it very quickly. Ow. God, I hate that. I should've just shot him and then... moved on. Ooh. so ridiculous. Alright, let's just move on. Anything else in here? Yeah, just normal guy. Oh, wow, well, well, I guess it's your lucky day. You're getting decked in the face! Alright, what do we got going on down here? Whoop, oh, fucking rat. Well, obviously, the snow collapsed. The area. But it didn't fill up everything. And it didn't flood the place, so that's nice. No entry! I'll do what I want. I'm gonna pull out my shotgun, too. Okay, shower room underground. Why? Was this a hot spring? If you, er, uh, if you, scum, don't fall in the third round, I will personally push you into the red pit. This is your last chance. Oh, The fighting arena place. Okay. Uh oh. Well, um. Oh no! Here comes a train conductor with the chairs and the shotgun blues! Looks like these big wrestlers aren't gonna get a chance to do anything! The money's going down the drain! If they're doing any kind of corrupt operations to fail or win, they're, that's not gonna work out because the train operators come to town! I mean, I guess, technically, if they were trying to lose, they succeeded! But the people betting on them are dead, so it really doesn't matter. One, two, three... <laughs> that fucker goes so quick! Oh, I guess I could just toss a chair at you. Boop. <laughs> Something more. A real challenge. Oh. The fuck? Ugh! Oh god! I guess that's the red pit! They just legitimately killed people and threw them in there and... Wow! That's fucked up. 
Oh, I am. I don't feel bad for like anybody in this town except for the normal residents, I suppose. Oh, hey, fucking. Uh, I'll take the money. This idiot didn't fall in the third round. Get rid of him. Pack up his clothes and boxes. If you find anything valuable, keys, money, leave it there and I'll take a look. Uh, what kind of scheme were y'all running about this place? They're sitting there. Recording people in their own homes. Whoop, hold up. There you go, I don't have to worry about that guy. Recording people in their own homes, making them fight to the death, and if they lose, killing them anyways? Well, I mean, I guess... I don't know if they were fighting to death, that's an assumption. <laughs> These guys should be able to take two shotgun melee blows. Just so that way they're a legitimate big threat. But I'm assuming that if I ever fuck up, they're gonna like chunk out almost all of my health. So, I'm content with them not being like super big bullet sponges. Cause that would really suck. Alright, we got our code. Getting the hell out of this snowy place. I wonder if we're going further north. I haven't really checked the map that we've been using. Or not really using, but just the general route of the train. We just kinda keep going! And going, and going, and going. I don't even think I can choose my destination ever. Daddy. This train doesn't look that safe. Look, just because there's a few bits sparking here and there doesn't mean it's not safe. Are you kidding? First of all, the carriage doesn't let the exogas in. Then, it regulates the temperature even when... I'm not worried about the temperature. Or the monsters. What if we stumble upon them? Them? What's more worrisome than the monsters? Realistically, we will have a chance to survive. The train was built with such situations in mind. Guys? What are you talking about? What are our chances? About 0.1% chance to survive the first attack. Sounds great. I feel so protected now. <laughs> I don't think that we need to worry about this. They are still in the north. How do you know? We're getting detailed reports. But this train, does it move faster than them? Barely. The fuck are y'all talking about? Also, the train's gonna have to stop at some point, so I definitely need to know what the fuck's going on. Are you okay? Why? Just curious. Do you think you can help me? Well... It would be easier for you to get to the shelter... ...than to travel to Metropole. <laughs> yeah, that's not... that doesn't sound pleasant. It'd be easier for you to just go back the way we came. If they didn't close the hatch yet... Yep, the conversation continues on. Just like I figured. I didn't plan to go there. Hide underground like a rat? You think they won't find you there? Well, the shelter is very well protected. I saw what happened to the city they went through. Who is them? Or, for example, Vermin's tank division. Oh shit, these things are capable of taking out entire tank divisions? Why do you think there's no report of their actions? Because there's nothing left. There's nobody to report it. Y'all are talking some depressing stuff, considering I don't know what the fuck you're talking about in the first place. I hope I don't have to encounter... ...them. Maybe they're a group of raiders? I'm getting my books on the janitor. Martis. God damn it, Martis. Why does every single train station person have to have some shit they have to do? Oh, great. That's probably him, too. God damn it, Martis. 
Alright. Fine. I'll go through this place, this industrial-looking facility. Looks like a giant rig. Maybe it's legitimately like an oil rig. Ooh. I wonder... We may or may not have to blow up that, uh, barrel. We'll see, though. Send Ronald! Maybe he can fix the radio. There's some noise on every frequency. Uh-oh. What was the noise? What's going on? I still need the full answers, man. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Everyone was supposed to blow up at the same time. He ruined it for us, man. Oh, boy. Hooah! Okay! 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 Oh, I'm so fucking dead! <laughs> Good to know? Good to know. Woo! 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 That was a lot more than I anticipated. All right. I did not, in fact, have to blow up this barrel. Oh. Ooh! Oops! I was trying to put it down on the ground. <laughs> Instead, I fucking tossed it and it immediately blew up. Jesus, man. I've got some strength. Ah, <sighs> Martin, I understand that this job pays very well. It's very honorable to work for the son of the council member, but you have not been home for ten months. Maybe we can try looking for different options? Emma. Yeah, Martin. What the hell, dude? Are you Martin? Well, I'm fine right where I am. Look, I have a whole box of corned beef. I bet you don't have that on your train. Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I have a whole box of corned beef. Look, I can take that box of corned beef with me. Now here's a good question. Why did oh oh well ain't that interesting? Here's what I can do. We have sight of the area ahead of us. I can go down, grab the barrel as soon as possible, and then get some shit done. Or I can just shoot this guy. Oh God, I fuck. Mad kid. All right. Just in case. Wow. Wow. I shot the flaming guy in hopes that he would just like stay amongst them and die. Nope. Fucking blew up on the goddamn barrel that I wanted to use. Hi. No, I can walk. Thank you. Yeah, I hate the injured people. Not the fact that they're injured. The fact that I just don't have enough medkits for them. I want to help. So fucking stop being super injured so I can. Ah, oh, what? Why'd he die immediately? It was a single shot! That's so inconsistent! Oh, get the fuck out of here. Uh, it's a good thing I used the med kit, right? Director Peter Thornton. Hey! Thornton! The son of the- th Whoa! It's not my fault that old man left you this rickety plant and sent Adam to Bristol. Stop your whining. I don't want to hear that name. And this has nothing to do with the old man. Start with the small things. Hire professionals, not this scum. Get a small load and at least fix the main shop. Great idea, but who do you expect to pay for all that? Don't get mad. But Adam. <laughs> Offline. <laughs> nope, I don't want to listen to this shit about Adam Thornton. So, I'm assuming that white text is Peter Thornton, aka Adam's dad. I don't know about green text. <laughs> who do you think's gonna pay for that? Your son. Nope, I'm off. Fuck this shit. That's the one thing you shouldn't have said to me. Alright, the good news about this situation 
is that we're far enough ahead that I don't imagine we're gonna run into much else. I mean, I figure we're gonna run into at least two more groups of enemies, but we've fucking encountered so many so far that they're probably not gonna be too big of a threat. I shouldn't make assumptions, though. Hey, guys! Over here! No? Alright. Alright. Upper House of Metropole to Martis Rin, head of oil platform. It is an oil place. Alright. I figured. Figured. Hey, how you doing? And smack. Shit. Ooh, almost walked into him punching me. So does this just go straight left? Oh, it does. Would you look at that? Come along, friend. One, two, three. Okay, three shotgun butts versus four pistol attacks. I love this thing as a melee weapon. I'm surprised I don't get a real melee weapon. Now, if I wanted to be a real dickbag dev, I would totally put a zombie here. And it would react to you early enough that it would come out from the here, so it wouldn't just be like you walk in here and then just die. That would be cruel. But no, it would just come out and you wouldn't expect it because it's like, oh, whoa, oh shit, I couldn't see behind that pillar or that thing. All right, I'm gonna very quickly backtrack because we have the railway key. And there's a locked door up here. Nope, did not affect it. Never mind then. All right, I went all around the place. Didn't see anything else for me to grab. So let's get the hell out of here. You know what? At least I was right. We didn't get... <laughs> we didn't end up getting killed with our super low health. I wonder if this oil rig guy is gonna know some important stuff. I like juicy tidbits. What do we got going on? Darn! Oh my god! Did you bandage the arm? Yes! Oh, his arm's missing. Doesn't really help. I need a doctor. I'm afraid you can only find one in Metropole. Maybe if the military base is still standing. No. I need to go to Metropole. My family's there. Turn that down. Then hold on and stop whining. Yeah, yeah, just chill out. You'll be fine. I'll keep you healed up when things are going really bad for you. And when it gets to like here, I'll run out and get a medkit for him. Any news about the president? Were they able to find him? I don't think it's a good time to discuss this. I'm just gonna start fucking with their voices. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> Armin is a damn coward. I'm sure no one abducted him. I agree. He simply fe fled at the first whiff of danger. His father built this country on ruins. I don't think his son would flee like a coward. Oh, shit, everyone's dying. This is my bad. It's my bad, 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 it's my bad. I was just about to get the medkit too. Where is he then? And why didn't he start the Guardian? I... I will tell you about it later. You fuckers talk so goddamn much. <laughs> I wish I could have, like, a transcript of their talks. That'd be nice. Like, after the train's done? Okay. What do we got going on here? Rathspaw. Looks like this is the end. What happened? We're out of fuel. I can't come for you. I know. I just wanted to apologize. When you started working here, I was too strict with you. Try to walk to the closest town. They're outside the train. I can't get out. Farewell. Wait! Raph is online. Oh jeez. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna get off the train then. Our fellow train operators are going out one by one. 
All the train stations have fallen to these affected. We don't even know what's going on around here anymore. You know, it's interesting. Go to David. Second facility, this is urgent. Go to David, second facility. Is David the name of the second facility or go to David? And that's like a code phrase. Go to David, uh, we are good to go. This is urgent. I don't know. But one thing I've noticed is the train stations themselves have been pretty safe. Or not really filled with zombies every time we enter in. Some of them have been dangerous. But mostly the area beyond the train stations are the most fucked up. Oh. What? We had a, uh... A decontamination chamber here. That usually means lab. Why? Would that be here? Oh, Jesus. It's one of those fucking kinds of things. <laughs> Alright. I know the last, in the last place I said, if I was a dev, I would hide zombies behind a hard-to-see obstruction and then have them rush at you. But I didn't actually want it to have, to have it happen. Especially not with an entire group of scary zombies. The fast ones, the big ones, and the exploded ones. What kind of shit? I guess I could have slightly walked around them, but I doubt it. What's going on here? Stage 2. Status ready. Foreman's comment. The carcass is installed. Check the manual brake system during stage 3. We had problems with it yesterday. It's interesting. Is this a construction yard? And they made trains here? I have my interest peaked. Would you say that maybe it's a prototype facility that constructs the types of trains that we use? Oh, I can't read that. It really does look like the train that we use. Stage 4, status ready. Foreman's comment. Diesel engine is installed. The equipment is connected. Everything is ready to be tuned. There are still issues with the manual brake. Check the carriage mounting. Look at this. They were gonna make more. I mean, to be fair, our thing is called Bellus 7. So that's reasonable. Oh no, I need you to come out here because I can't see you. My eyes, <laughs> they only see in a couple of different dimensions. But not the third! Could you even comprehend the third dimension? Oh! Hello. What's going on here? Why is there a delay? The blacksmith didn't leave any records, and we can't set up mass production without him. What are our options? Well, obviously, he's too busy building the Guardian now, so I prepared a proposal for shutting down the experimental train production. What will David say? Hmm. It's interesting. So our train is like... This super special train... Where we won't get affected by the gas and die. And is decent enough to be... Slightly helpful against them. But not entirely. But there's so much that we don't know about it. And it's a little rinky-dink. But it works. Damn. All right. I wanted to toss it over the zombie's head and have it land in the middle. That would have been effective. Stage one. Status ready. Uh, the base is ready, waiting for approval. Okay. So, <laughs> we had stage three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine all the way up there. Meanwhile, one and two underground where nobody could see it. Why? Is there something special about this? Uh-oh. Um, problem.
Hey, hey, that worked. We had an explosive guy, and now we don't. I almost punched in the wrong direction. I mean, I did punch in the wrong direction, but it worked out. Punch. <laughs> he had such low health. Okay. Stage three. The carcass is ready. Check the shaft fastening. I'm sad I don't have a... Whoa. A log. Of all the things I stumble across. It'd be nice. Oh no. Stage four. Status delayed. Production is being shut down. All work in the second facility is halted. Bellus AX-02 reactors to be placed in the isolated container for personal safety. Waiting for further instructions. Oh, shit. And that's how come it's an experiment- Oh, no. We're riding around in a train. Comprised of experimental hardware stolen slash reverse engineered from the aliens themselves. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Maybe that's why we're starting to get visions. Maybe being by the alien tech is fucking with our minds. It's fucking with everybody else's minds. We saw- everyone saw the tunnel. To Frank Frost, head of Rail Factory ESK Station. 2223. Oh, jeez. I want to read more. David, I understand this, but we still didn't get an operating Bellus model. Again, I sent one model north for fixing, and once it's fixed and sent back, I'll have a detailed report. We don't need to continue financing a project that leads nowhere. Do you realize the price we paid for these reactors? From the thousands of people that went to get them, only seven came back. We can't just throw them away. We are currently reviewing the usage of all technologies from the first visitation zone. I am very sorry. The first visitation, dude. Our train. It's got some sketchy tech. Oh, hey there. Okay. Yeah, get him a train. Wait. What is this train? This can't be. Yeah, it's the Bellish train that y'all made. It's fucking crap. So fix a slight bit of it while you're on my train or something. I'll try to keep you alive. I mean, it gets us where we need to go, it gets us from point A to point B, it makes us that we can't die to the gas or get turned because of the gas. But, uh, it's a little frustrating having to fix it up constantly while I'm trying to eavesdrop on conversations. Gosh.